Hello everyone, it's Jess. Welcome to your collective energy reading for March 22nd, 2023. Today I'll be using the card deck, The Tarot of Curious Creatures by Chris Ann. It's got really neat artwork and I love the messages here. So this is what I'll be using today for your reading. Okay, so I have the deck right here. We're releasing any negative energy. Okay, right now I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle. Get my cards ready. This takes a little time. Sorry about that. Okay. Spirit, what do we need to know today, all of us? Whoever's watching this, there's a message for you. Take only what resonates, okay? It might be actually a message that comes from the booklet or this card, or it could be something that I just mentioned in passing here that really resonates and is actually the message for you that really has nothing to do with how I'm reading out of the booklet. Spirit, spirit, spirit. There it goes to the floor. Excuse me. Okay. Ooh, today's card is the Queen of Wands. Look at that card, isn't that neat? It's so fun, this deck. It, um, it's such an art piece because what it does is uh, the creators use a, you know, a head of an animal on top of, you know, essentially a human body and all the cards look like that. They're very cool. Okay, let's get right into the reading, the message here. And again, I'm using the booklet. Um, I find that the booklet go goes into details that we might not talk about or you know it's really showcasing what these artists do and these these deck creators do um as important and uh, I, I sometimes feel like not a lot of people take the time to read the booklet so again that's why i am doing it sorry it's taking me a little bit to find the correct page okay so this card came up head up as they say, you know, they have two different section heads or tails, meaning did the card come flip out like upright or upside down? For this reading on the floor, it came out upright. Um, so some of the kind of main features and um, of this card would be messages would be confidence, creativity, goals met, success, ambition, a joyful person, finding determination, a social butterfly, Charisma, outgoingness, openness, and interest in the occult, okay? Warm and charming, this lion queen shares the secrets to her success. By displaying her enthusiastic passion openly, she engages her community with dynamic confidence, transparency, and a ferocity of spirit. In this way, she looks after her people, her cubs, her world, okay? She offers you a chance to step in to this extroverted, ambitious energy. You know, it's taking me a lot of ambition and extroversion in order to start this channel, to be willing to make mistakes in front of everybody um, and um, putting the effort into it. So, you know, part of this stuff does also apply to myself because I am part of the collective as well. You know, we're all connected really. Um, okay, and while this queen of fire can be hot to handle when she unleashes her righteous rage, she will also help you burn away and release the residue of any past wounding with ease. Allow confident peace to blossom in its place. <clears throat> Because your lessons are your strength and are the key to unlocking a deeper purpose. Transmute any anger or jealousy by following the roaring whispers of your own heart. Okay. And you will find a sacred flame of sustainable inspiration within. The Queen of Wands is ready to illuminate the inherent bold and unapologetic greatness that you have always had inside. Every one of you has something special inside. And it's very important to really sit with yourself and think about, 
you know, what, it, what are my strengths? What am I good at? What do I get excited about? And a lot, a clue to that would be when you're with friends or family, what topics do you like to talk about? That is a big clue of what your interests are. Another little section here called Lioness Conversations. My little black cat, Familiar, is always with me with her alternative dialogues and witchy spiritual things. She helps ground me into my own magic and reminds that reminds me that my pure essence is truly is never truly tame. She helps ground me into my own magic and reminds me that my pure essence is never truly tame. Just had to repeat that. How are you moving through any anger or frustration? That's the question. How do you deal with anger and frustration? And does that need to be reevaluated? Do you need to find healthier ways of dealing with those situations and those feelings? And can you turn them into beauty? Is kind of the follow-up question. You know, is there a purpose? There's always a purpose in our emotions, no matter what they are. And finding what that purpose is, the hidden message. You know, not saying, why is this happening to me? But rather, what am I learning from this? Okay. How are you moving through any anger and frustration and can you turn them into beauty? Just repeating that because it's, it's a very strong message and, and something thoughtful um, that may take some energy to think about um, because we don't always like to necessarily admit when we're wrong or admit that we, you know, reacted poorly in an, you know, an anger way or a frustrated way. And then after the fact, we find ourselves apologizing for our behavior. This is just an opportunity to really think about and be mindful of how we react. And um, taking a pause and not necessarily reacting to something, but re responding would be better. You know, responding is you've given a, yourself time to, you know, process things instead of just that, you know, fight or flight reaction, you've actually said, okay, breathe. I'm going to evaluate what just happened in the situation. I'm going to take my time before I reply or respond instead of just immediate reactions. Okay. How are you feeling? How are you feeding rather your creative soul? So this is, this speaks to me because I'm a creative person. I'm a little bit quirky. I'm definitely an original. Um, I have strengths and here I am feeding my creative soul by starting this channel um, and, and pushing myself to, you know, do it every day, uh, regardless of how many people view this or what people say about it or, um, you know, my intention is to help people and that is it. Um, however, me beginning this is it has a lot to do with me honoring myself and um and and listening to my soul and and feeding my creative soul and can you see the inspiration hiding with in all the emotions of your journey okay absolutely you know sometimes we we forget that you know these emotions are are really guiding us Sorry, I've got a hair there, okay. Um, I hope you like the blue wig and the bow. Anyway, our emotions are guiding us really, okay. And um, instead of just, you know, correlating negative emotions with something that we shouldn't necessarily do, those negative emotions have a purpose that are allowing us to, you know, think about, you know, why are we having these emotions? What do they mean? And to just sit with them and really honor emotions. I know you might not hear that, um, you know, especially with the positive mindset influences. And I know yesterday's video, I talked about toxic positivity is a real thing. And that, you know, people will oftentimes just completely disregard whole sets of emotions because they're not deemed positive. But I'm here to tell you and, and other people I'm sure will come your way as well to remind you that, it's important to continue to allow those, you know, seemingly negative emotions to take place because they're teaching you something. So, you know, for example, 
I, you know, I've been in the corporate world. I've had other regular nine to five jobs and I just can't shake the emotion that I'm meant to do something more. Um, that I meant to work strongly with my creative side, uh, my dramatic personality, my people person skills, um, all of those things. And, and, um, and I can't seem to shake that. Even if I, you know, essentially go into new jobs and take on new roles thinking, oh, this is it, this is gonna be the job that's gonna make me happy, this is the one, this is my purpose. And, you know, I've spent many years doing this, you know, given different jobs a chance just to move into something else, hoping for that feeling when I'm realizing, you know what, that feeling is actually in my power and in my control. And I'm looking in the wrong area for that, okay? It won't be found necessarily in what you're doing. For example, in, you know, my current regular nine to five job, I'm, you know, and which is a really good fit and, I, and I'm doing successfully in that. However, I cannot shake the feeling of something is missing. Um, so today the message really is to, you know, think about ways that you can become the person that you want to become and, and make those changes or, or little small steps in your daily life. You know, let's say that your goal is to get really fit and buff and you know it might just be for vanity reasons you know and not even considering health or wellness as the main reason at first but you know to to pursue that because you have interest in that and it's okay for you to start for vanity reasons because I guarantee you once you get involved in the culture of health and fitness you're going to start wanting to do things more based on the overall picture and you know because you're gonna look better vanity will obviously come with that um and your body will change and you'll feel better about yourself because your fitness is improving and you know you look better and your clothes fit better and you know you look better and whatever you want to wear and, and whatever you're doing even if it's you know just getting ready to go on a vacation you know on a beach somewhere you know that's reason enough um so it, it's just really important to follow those leads and listen to yourself because I'm telling you that even if you make other changes thinking, oh, this is really the reason why, you know, um, this just needs to change and then I'll be happy. If this, then that, it's more in your power than that. You can take steps that you haven't tried yet and honor yourself by trying something new or or really giving yourself a chance with those thoughts and those things and those activities and those interests that that keep you know gnawing at your door you know let me in give me a chance um you know and, and finding those opportunities so that you can show the world who you are and it's not easy okay there's going to be naysayers negative nellies you know there's going to be people that want to bring you down there's going to be jealous people that want to take it away from you that all they can do is say bad things because they want to cut you down but let's remember one thing here and let's be clear people treat you based on how they feel on the inside and it never had anything to do with you in the first place if you can remember that you can easily let things brush off your shoulders, you know, and, and just let it go. And, and, and really think about, you know, the relationships in your life and are these advantageous, okay? And if somebody is in your life constantly being a negative force, you might have to reevaluate, is that a necessity anymore? Um, so yeah, yes, I, you know, I tend to go on tangents a little bit and tell some stories and personal things, but, you know, I hope that it, you know, that's just kind of what's coming through to me and, and needing to share that. So, you know, I hope that doing that helps other people and there's messages in that for them um, because everybody's important. We all have a purpose. 
um, and we're here for a reason. So I thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for, you know, supporting me by watching this video. You know, I'd really appreciate it if you liked it and followed me for more. I am trying to build my audience. So this is the very beginning and um, I'm open to learning new things. And, you know, please, you can give your suggestions within the comments. I'll happily read those and reply. I really appreciate you today and I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.